Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> Sam I beat the Ganji doing political commentary for the media speaks, knocking my own camera down. Um, I was going to go ahead and do another silly character for St. Patrick's Day, and as I put in the Facebook description, I'm not, I just have not been in the most jovial of moods lately. Your humble host, uh, to be quite honest, is going through it, so. Some people laugh at, uh, at uh, uh, prayers and thoughts. I, I, I don't laugh at such things. Feel free to send them my way. I did wear green. Of course, my grandfather's last name was Briny, so, you know, par for the course. You had to. Um, I do real quick want to say that this is uh, listener supported and it is of course our famous dunce cap of the month show and I do think that I left the dunce cap in the other room so I'm going to have to get it by the time that I actually present the award but we'll go with it. Um, Alright let's get right into it friends. St. Patrick's Day of course uh, St. Patrick it drove, drove the snakes out of Ireland which is kind of worthy of mention on uh, the Dumb Dumb Cap of the Month show, since uh, some people have said that there never were snakes in uh, Ireland. However, I think it's symbolic of trying to get rid of more like evil in Ireland. So that's something to think about as well, particularly if you've had the last kind of year as I have. All right, friends, check this out. Um, For the Dumb Cap of the Month, we had to get started with this. It was sent to me from... A listener, and I couldn't give it the Dunce Cap of the Month award because it didn't happen within the last 30 days. However, it is stupid enough that I definitely wanted to go ahead and mention it. Uh, listen to this. It's right, right, right by my uh, home here. Minerva area woman was appearing for mayor's court and unre- unrelated drug charges when she showed up. Oh, you got to hear this. Let, let me let them say it. A woman who showed up in the village mayor's court to answer drug charges carried a backpack containing methamphetamine, ecstasy, marijuana, pills, and other drugs, and the pipes used to smoke them. Now, how many of you have seen uh, Dr. Strangelove, where he goes, a guy can pretty have a pretty nice weekend in Vegas with all that? Um, wow, is she had like her own rave. Stark County Jail Records show Elizabeth D. Wilson, 31, of the 9100 block of Arrow Road Northwest in the Minerva area, was arrested at 4.44 p.m. on Wednesday, but this was in January, at the Minerva Mayor's Court, 209 North Market, who cares where it is. Police seized a multicolored backpack and the items inside of it. Those items included 0.53 grams of meth, MDA, uh, ecstasy mixture, so they were going to be wide awake for their horny uh, trip. Uh, 11 blue pills stamped R3060, 11 white oval-shaped pills called gapapentin, a small bag containing 2.32 grams of marijuana buds. It even had the buds. It wasn't even like the Bobby Brown shake. Um, And that's, that's... that's absolutely priceless. Now I think my computer is about to freak out and freeze on me. So it may only be you guys on the live cam. So I have to turn this up while I move this. Do not go away because I am going to have to fix this problem. Things happen to me live that could not happen to anyone else. I am back, and I am changing buttons. A technical glitch, not the end of the show, just a technical glitch. I have more than one plug for my computer, and it sometimes freaks out, so we just have to wait for it to come back on. It happens. I used to freak out when things like this happened live, but I've learned that, uh, what are you going to do? The most you can do is just hope your audience understands that you are doing a live show. So, I mean, obviously, if you're watching this, skip ahead, because this is now going to be just this video. So, quit watching. Just skip skip ahead. Um, come on. Reboot. Come back to life. 
There we go. I got the color back on. Here we go. Anyway, so she shows up in court. Shows up in court with a bag of drugs. Now, this this takes me on a, on a number of different paths. For those who know me, I'm really not a huge fan of the war on drugs. I think it's an absolute waste of time, money, and resources. I don't think it's up to the government what we put into our own bodies. I just don't believe that that's the case. However, if you know, and then that's a battle that we can have. I think that's, that's that's something we can take to court. It's something we can take to the streets to. Whatever, whatever, whatever. If the law if the law is going to be what it is, then doesn't it make sense that you would at least be wise enough not to show up in court with a backpack full of drugs? Maybe that's just me. Uh, moving on as the computer reboots. Um, and again, let me, the way these stories are compiled is I find the absolute dumbest story that I can find. And I, I mail dunce caps. I've mailed dunce caps to the FBI. I've mailed dunce caps to Pelosi. I've mailed dunce caps to Al Gore. Well, all of that costs money, friends. So remember that you can donate. All right, friends, listen to this. So this is from the Daily Star. Instagram model. How many of you want to be Instagram models? Oh, that's so nice. I would so love to be an Instagram model. It's so pithy. Daily Star Instagram model poses for a steamy shower video, but it ends horribly. Yeah, the, the outdoor shower fell and cracked her in the skull, um, directly into the top of her head. She immediately flinches in pain, and the clip comes to an end. Now, the reason I mention this is there's no shortage of people, literally, who would, who would uh, eat a bowl full of maggots and bend over backwards to go ahead and become the next Instagram model. Uh... And at, quite likely at the expense of just about everything else. And that brings us to glitches and all. What you were waiting for, friends, the dunce cap of the month. Who won? Oh, we got to get our dummy music. You know the rules. Listen. Now, for those of you that do not know, a dunce cap and a certificate is going to be mailed to the winner. And the winner is Beto O'Rourke. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you this real quick and let this explain for itself why uh, Beto is winning. Just listen. Renegotiating the terrible trade deals previous... Oh, come on. ...previous presidents have gotten us into and undoing a bunch of unnecessary business regulations and building the wall... Beta wants to tear down the existing wall. Um, you know, would you, if you could, would you take the wall down now? Here. Yes. Like you have a wall. Absolutely. Knock it down. I'll take the wall and down. And you think the city, you think if, this, if there's a referendum here in this city, that would pass? I do. Here's what we know. Um, we know that you are a moron. Now please continue speaking and demonstrating that to us. We know that walls do not save lives. Walls end lives. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but you're saying that while being protected by a giant fence. Poor Ben okay. didn't even won over the support of the liberals that think progress. Yeah. All right, now see, you, you, you just keep... This was never meant to be a three-part video. It never was. It was never meant to be so. But anyway, you can't make that up. So here is the actual presentation of the award. This is a video right here of what is going to be sent. Now, it, look at the, look how remarkable this is. He looks exactly like Beavis, or excuse me, Butthead. So, I wrote the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. This Dunce Cap of the Month Award goes to Beto O'Rourke for saying that the prudent border wall should be taken down even as gangs pour in, while skateboarding at the White House should be something of a boon for the nation. The fact that you are blind to the woes of illegal migration makes wise people wonder if you skated without a helmet one too many times. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, Bido is a skateboarder, and uh, my whole life I have loved skateboarding, um, more in some ways than it loved me. I was never as good at it, I think, no matter how much time I put into it. But it was something that I did all the time. I still do from time to time, and uh, I've since progressed more into snowboarding, but I have nobody to snowboard with. However, um, if I had the opportunity, so he's getting that mailed, 
And he's also getting here the dunce cap of the month mailed to him. Uh, here we have, and uh, this is, uh, look at that. I did a really good job with a skateboarder launching over a half pipe. That looks great. It says, liberalism is for posers. And he's flashing there the one finger salute. And then uh, my, my cartoon character here, Pineapple Head. He's been with me since I was a kid. I always drew him. He wrote, He's saying, true thrashers are libertarian. And then, uh, of course, the uh, no beto. And uh, Vito Beto O'Dork. Okay, now he is, I'm going to get that printed and the hat is going to be mailed to him and he has won the dunce cap of the month award uh this was never meant to be three videos but once the computer crashed and the camera was plugged into the computer chaos if you like how i persevered then please donate at the correct views of hotmail.com through paypal not only will you get a better show quite likely a less chaotic one who knows maybe you can mail me a dunce cap have a good one friends